Hi everyone, my name is Angelica Rubio, representative for District 35, and this is my legislative update. It is, what's today, Wednesday, Wednesday evening, and I am currently in my hotel room in Denver, Colorado, as I've been participating in the outdoor retail, um, which is a huge, probably one of the biggest worldwide uh, trade shows around outdoor uh, equipment, um, clothing, apparel, all the things that you can think about. And I'm here more specifically because I was invited by the outdoor, uh, outdoor rec industry to basically speak tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day that I'm here and I'm going to be speaking at the final presentation of the day with some of my other colleagues from New Mexico talking about the Outdoor Equity Fund and what the Outdoor Equity Fund can do not only for our young people and, and helping create a new steward new stewards of our of our land, but also how can we be thinking about outdoor recreation in New Mexico that's different and that can be a model for the rest of the world when we're thinking about preservation and conservation and things like that. And it's been a really humbling experience. I'm literally like sitting outside. I'm, sta um, I'm here in downtown and I'm sitting here in my room as I, as I watch people go by and, and, and really like there's a bunch of music happening next door and things like that. And it's it's been a a really interesting experience because for the most part um, I'm out of my element. I mean, quite frankly, I'm out of my element. And um, there's a lot of industry people here, people who have been doing this for a really long time, um, who are really passionate about about the outdoors. But what I'm also finding is is that equity. Uh, inclusion and diversity are still are still a very far out idea that it's hard for people to actually conceptualize and to actually like really truly understand and so I'm excited about the chance to have a space tomorrow at one of the biggest outdoor retail um, um, places um, in the world knowing that I get to talk about equity and inclusion and um, diversity and 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 really thinking about how I'm going to do it and so I'm kind of nervous um, but I'm also kind of excited about it all at the same time um, because as I shared earlier I, I've been recording some notes for my good friend Gabe, Gabe Vasquez who is the founder and now running um, a really great organization called Nuestra Tierra which is the um, centerpiece really for how we came to the idea of um, the Outdoor Equity Fund, which is like really um, working with our young people and getting giving them access to the outdoors. And I did, he does a podcast called Nuestra Tierra, um, and so I recorded some, um, uh, some, some audio for him earlier. And there's this huge uh, Ferris wheel that's like right across the street from where the outdoor rec, um, the outdoor retailer is, is taking shape and, or taking place. And it is, is literally across the convention center. And nobody's been on it. I passed it yesterday. I passed it this morning. Um, I passed it again this afternoon. And then I passed it again this evening as I was coming back from dinner. And I kept thinking, I wonder, one, who the sponsor is. But I also wonder how much it cost them to sponsor this particular, uh, this, this particular thing. And um, the first will, and then how? What would it? What? How cool would it be if that money were to go to an outdoor equity fund like what we're promoting in New Mexico, and where where it's about to take go live July first? Like it would make such a huge difference. And so, these are just some of the things that I've been thinking about, and I hope that I can challenge folks tomorrow. Is is like we have an opportunity, a huge opportunity, to really shape the narrative for a generation. Um, when it comes to not only just public lands and accessing our public lands, but really like working towards diversifying our economy, providing opportunities for our communities for cooler jobs, um, well-paying jobs that isn't going to directly impact their, their quality of life, um, that they're outside and they're doing all these great things. Like, what would that look like? Like, what would that look like? And so those are some of the things that I'm reflecting on. Those are some of the things that I'm going home thinking about tomorrow after my presentation. And those are some of the things I'm looking towards 
um, July 1st when we hopefully have a new director of the Department of the Division of Outdoor Rec. And um, as the Outdoor Equity Fund um, comes to, it goes live. And so um, with that, these are just some of the ideas I'm thinking about, some of the things that I'm sharing. And I, um, I plan and hope that I can share more of this when I get back. Uh, Saturday, spill the beans with Rep Rubio, even though I'm in Denver until tomorrow and I'm tired and I'm losing my voice. I intend to be there Saturday morning at Beck's Coffee at 10 a.m., and I hope to see many of you there. So with that, have a good evening, and I will talk to you all soon. Good night.